With the camera in my hand and just too much time to spare, I set off up the creek to try to catch a certain target species who has a reputation for biting people. I think I might be able to use this to my advantage today. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to catch an eel-tailed catfish with your bare hands. I'm going to teach you how to catch it and then cook it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be feeling under the banks with my hands. And then normally one of these guys will actually bite onto my thumb and I'll be able to pull them out for you. And they're actually quite a nice meal actually. So I'm, I'll teach you how to fill them. So we'll see how we go. Might be an eel. Oh, it's an eel. Go to a different bank. Okay, well, I've just been over there and got bitten by an eel, so I'm trying to a different bank. Because I always see the catfish to come under here. Since there's a lot of catfish in this creek, it's, it's okay to um, eat one every now and again. And as you can Step close. one is to cut it and then gut it to pull all that gross slimy stuff out of its stomach. Yeah. Now you want to get all of this gross stuff. That. You got to get all that gross stuff out. I'll just put it in a pile there. should be good for eating. It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Oh, sorry about that, but it took you long enough. But here's how you're going to fillet them. What you're going to do is there'll be a line, a line that you can feel, and you want to cut just behind that. So you'll cut into the fish, and then you keep slicing all the way down. To this end part so you can get nice big fillets out of that oh that's gonna be so good well the last step of preparing these guys is to cook them now I'm going to be showing you the way that I cook these catfish and make the mouth-watering recipe come true well what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to put lemon on each side of the fillet that you're gonna be cooking then you're going to want to wrap it in alfoil or banana leaves. I've chosen alfoil because it cooks quicker. Okay, when this fire dies down, I'm going to put this in all the coals. Oh, 
after 40 minutes, I thought the catfish was ready, so I took it out to have a taste. I can wash that off. We'll see if it's ready. Could go for a bit longer, so I'm gonna just whack it back in there. Just stick it on top. Well, after waiting another five minutes, I unwrapped it to find this. Look at that! It smells disgusting. <laughs> Might taste better. Tastes like chicken. This is a catfish's eyeball. It's hard. That's because it's raw, you ning nong. But. It's supposed to taste good. Far out. Only when they're cooked. Oh wow, you did it. Now you're gonna be regretting that for a while, mate. And that is what I ate. The disgusting thing on the catfish. The meat's good, but the eyeball's disgusting. You could feel the cold. Ooh, that's 